Hey, this is Asha. Thanks for joining me here for another episode on Backstage Income, where I share with you how to build and grow a profitable business all around the online space. Now, in today's episode, we're going to take a look at evolving your website. And one of the easy ways to do that is through Elementor. And then there's add-on packs. So we're going to take a look at one of those add-on packs in more detail. All right, so with Elementor, which is basically a page builder plugin, there's also Divi, there's uh, Beaver Builder, there's a ton of them out there now. Uh, they make building websites a lot easier, a lot easier than what I used to do back in the day, doing a lot of HTML, CSS, PHP, and that kind of stuff. So now things have evolved much more. Of course, you still use HTML, CSS, it's just that these builders allow you to kind of do it a lot. Uh, quicker. So when you look at Elementor, it's got a lot of great features. Uh, so if you really look at the editor here and show you the, these features, uh, it's really drag and drop live editing. It's really quick, but it misses some of these blocks. So everything kind of works with blocks. You throw a bunch of blocks in there and then you kind of build your page. But that's what these add-on elements, uh, additional third-party things do is it allows you to throw those blocks right in there and then when you throw those blocks in there, it gives you more variety, more variation rather than custom coding it yourself. So it saves you a ton of time. Now, here's one of our websites. This is podcastcolor.com. Uh, so if we go ahead and we check out Podcast Color, I'm going to go ahead and play with this with you for uh, just a little bit. So if you need a podcast editing solution, my team will help you out with that or even um, cover art for your podcast, definitely check out that website. But with that being said, let's just take a look at um, this right here, uh, one of the plugins. And the plugins that I'm going to take a look at for you is going to be the Element Pack Pro plugin. So Element uh, Pack Pro. And the reason I like this plugin um, so much is look at all the features and functions you can get out of it. Just Take a look at that list. That list is huge. And one of the cool things about it is um, it's well styled and designed. So for example, here, testimonial grid, look at the styling. It's actually clean cut and well designed. So here's the testimonial. It's, it's done with design in mind. And I found that with some of the other um, plugins, like for example, let me take a look here. If I go here, believe let me see ultimate add-ons i believe i have let me see which one i have i have this one ultimate add-ons um and they have elementor widgets as well and they also have uh testimonials uh also and one of the things i don't like about this let's say business reviews right here here it is the problem with this is it's directly fetching right business reviews it's fetching directly from Google and Yelp. And that's great. I think it's a good function to have, but I wanna also additionally have these manually added because sometimes people just write in testimonials by email. And I have this plugin, I paid for this plugin as well, uh, but this is one of the things that plugin lacks. Whereas uh, this other one that I'm gonna show you right now, uh, you can do much more, there's much more customization uh, behind it and uh, there's just much more power to it. So anyways, uh, let's take a look at this plugin here. Let's go back into it. So, and scroll back up. And if you look at all these elements, you got things from, well, let's just start a couple at the top here. Uh, here's a carousel. I'm not going to go through all these. You could go through all, all these yourself, but here, you take a look. It just makes the widgets a lot easier. So you could do these yourself and customize them however you like. And, um, and then you can go ahead. Here's a thumb gallery. You can go ahead then uh, tweak them to your liking without any additional uh, code. Here's another one right here. Here's a timeline, which I think is uh, also very unique and kind of interesting if you like kind of like a timeline look. Uh, you want it uh, horizontal, you want it vertical. So it's kind of a good way to present timeline information. You can see you can have it slide in. Um, let's go to, uh, let's see, here's another pricing tables. I think also are pretty good, very convenient, always nice to have some pricing tables. And again, very nicely designed. Sometimes I'll custom code these anyways with just uh, basic Elementor blocks. Uh, but you can see there's a lot of variations for those of you that just want to keep it simple. Um, and, you know, a lot of templates and ideas that you could really work with here. Here's one that focuses on the center and the button there and so on. So really, really cool uh, there. And... Um, Let's just do one more here and then I'll show you Oh, here. This is the audio one. And then there's also the, 
the one I want to show you, if you're doing anything with cryptocurrency, I, this is the first one I've seen is kind of they do a cryptocurrency uh, card here as well. So let me pop that out for you there. You could check that out. You can see cryptocurrency cards and they also have, you know, third party plugins and widgets that connect to other items as well, like uh, Buddy Press and Ninja Forms and you name it, many other stuff. So let's check it out. Let's go in the back end here. I'm going to show you. So here's my podcast color website. Let's go into edit with Elementor. And when I take a look at this, I'm going to go ahead and show you this um, this area. So here's all the widgets, right? Uh, here is one of the other pro uh, plugins that I have. There's the general plugins and here's the element pack. So this is what I was saying about the other uh, plugin that I purchased, right? It's it's good, uh, but it's it's missing a couple functions. Uh, this one here, here we'll show you. Here's a, let me just drag a few of these elements. Here's the audio player and you can see uh, most of them, they, they go with something like here's a content style and advance, right? So if I want to change the skin, I could change the skin and then the skin will uh, will change. If I want to go ahead and uh, change the style here as well, let's just say I want to go ahead and change kind of like the icon color, not that these are going to be the best colors or anything like that. But you can see the icon colors changing. Let's just do a background color there. You can see background color, icon color. Let's go to dark and uh, you know border color if you want to go ahead and change that out. So you could see there's a lot of a lot of things that you could really tweak. You can change that that seek bar, a lot of a customization, a volume bar as well as do background color. So you could see there's the the volume area right over here that's being changed. So anyways, uh, this is just one of the elements. Uh, let's go to another one here just to show you a couple of great things on here. Uh, the business hours also really good if you're building like local websites for companies. Um, you know, you can just drag these things in, make some changes and uh, do some adjustments. There's also um, if we go here and take a look at uh, the Google Maps, also very handy, convenient. And you can see there, there's more controls than just kind of the basic Elementor things. You can you can do street view control. There's more functions to it that you can really add in. There's zoom controls if you want to hide those or show those and um, you know add in some other stylings. And let's just do a couple more. Oh, here's, here's a new one that I like. This is a circle menu. So if you ever wanted to put one of these circle menus on with contacts and clicks, this is fantastic. So you can see how that functions. You roll over and people would get a circle menu uh, right there on um, on any item that you kind of want a little bit multi-click or multi-item, multi-menu uh, function. So also very convenient. I find the one thing that's missing with this, um, they do have some advanced buttons which are great. Uh, you know, you can just do some great buttons, but there's a multi-line button would be fantastic and amazing uh, for marketing teams. Like for example, uh, you know, normally you have a button. Here's kind of your, your arrow right there. And then right here you have don't wait too long. There's your first line of text and then you say uh, get it now. So kind of creating like a double line buttons. I find a lot of these plugins kind of miss. Uh, so having something like that would be fantastic as a two line button, which is a marketing button. And that would be really, really good and handy um, to be able to make it work and to size one of these things, up, both of these up, like even two line or even three line. Sometimes uh, putting another thing right here, uh, you know, where this offer uh, expires in whatever, 24 hours or something like that. So even even a bigger three line button would almost be just as good or, or better because then you can really control it. Anyways, that's the one thing I found that's missing. But, you know, if you want a switcher, like, you know, switch from one thing to another. Um, video player, also great stuff. And I think their examples uh, do a, even a better job than what I could do so quickly. So let me just show you a couple more of those and we'll kind of call it a day. So let's check it out. VD themes. I'll pull it up for you. We'll go to element pack and we'll go to here's um, here's the dual button 
or rather than me making it. You can see you have that dual button, but that's the one thing is I'm missing is the multi-line button. So you can see the dual buttons are great for, you know, hey, do you want this or do you want that? And that's a good kind of variation that you don't see a lot of those um, other plugins that have that. And the switcher, also kind of powerful here as well. So if you're doing pricing plans, you could switch to the yearly, you could switch to the monthly, that's the, the toggle. Same thing here, yearly, monthly, and it just swaps that out. So that's also very cool, very powerful. And uh, the video gallery, if you're doing a ton of video, you know, like I am, this is, this is also pretty cool that you can have a list of videos, kind of like a playlist or a playlist down here, playlist here on the side. So if you're wanting to just kind of embed that on your website, uh, this is very cool and very convenient also. So anyways, that's kind of uh, right now what I'm using is I'm using little subsets of this plugin here and there throughout. And, uh, you know, you, obviously you don't need all the elements in there for every website, but, you know, you choose and cherry pick which ones you like, which ones you don't like, and then you use the ones that you need um, to just make your website whole and make it a lot easier because you can just quickly drag those things in without having to code them. If you're interested in this plugin, if you like it, if you enjoyed what I've shown you, take a look at the description below. There's going to be a link there for you. Uh, it might be an affiliate link. It might be just a regular link, uh, but check that out. You could also visit our website as well, and we'll link all these things up for you. Anyways, thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you next time. All right, so that pretty much wraps up our video. And I hope you really got some great insights from the content here that I've shared. Thank you so much for joining me. There's a lot of great support and community that I find uh, as I continue to comment through the YouTube comments or even just interact with you on email. So thank you, thank you, and thank you. And don't forget to hit subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. But if you want to get more in-depth and more connected, join me on my newsletter list by clicking the link over here. Thanks again, and remember to do what you love, contribute to other people, but most importantly, live life abundantly. I'll see you next time.